Hello, my name is Mabry Andrews. This video will show you how quick and easy it is to use your Olympus Delta XRF analyzer right out of the case and how to be safe when using it. When you first open the case, you'll find the shipping papers and documentation for your Delta, your Delta analyzer, two lithium ion batteries, the Calcheck coupon, USB cables, a USB drive that includes software and user documentation, either Kapton or Proline windows, and the AC adapter for the docking station. Underneath the first layer of protective foam you'll find the docking station and the AC adapter for the analyzer if you bought one. To use the analyzer, pull open the battery latch and insert one of the fully charged batteries, then close the latch. The batteries only go in one way. If the battery isn't sliding into position, take it out, rotate it, and slide it back in. Press the power button on the top of the analyzer. After it powers up, the radiation safety notice appears. After you read it, tap Start. Because this is your first time using the analyzer, it will need a calibration check. The calibration check, or cal check, makes sure that the analyzer is working correctly. The analyzer will need a cal check approximately every 10 hours, whether it's being used for those 10 hours or not. Put the CalCheck coupon on a flat surface and place the analyzer window on the coupon. Tap the CalCheck icon on the analyzer screen. CalCheck will take less than 30 seconds. CalCheck is an x-ray test, so the red x-ray indicator will be flashing to warn you that x-rays are being emitted. This is a good time to talk about x-ray safety. As long as you use your Delta analyzer correctly and follow the recommended testing techniques and safety precautions found in your manual, you and everyone around you will be safe. Our instruments are secure and dependable, but there are a few things that are important for you to know. When the red light is flashing, x-rays are being emitted. Never point the analyzer at yourself. Never point the analyzer at anyone else. Never place your hand in front of the analyzer window. Once CalCheck is done, your analyzer is ready to use. Your analyzer has been configured to your specifications. The delta in this video has been configured for metal alloy identification, so we are going to test some metal. Deltas with an alloy calibration will have the window guard system installed. For premium and professional models capable of testing lighter elements, you must remove the window guard window and change your mode to Alloy Plus to test for these elements. Testing is a short, simple, three-step process. Place, test, view the result. Your delta is configured to end testing when an alloy has been identified so you don't have to determine when a test is ended. As soon as your test is over, you can go on to the next test. Remember, when the x-ray indicator is flashing, x-rays are being emitted. When the x-ray indicator is solid red, the x-ray tube inside the analyzer is powered on, but not emitting x-rays. The battery in the analyzer should last for about four hours. All Deltas have hot swappable batteries so you don't have to power down the analyzer just to put in a fresh battery. To swap batteries, just open the battery latch, pull out the battery, and insert a fresh one. A countdown screen shows you how much time you have to complete the swap. Once the fresh battery is in, you can keep right on testing. When you are not using the Delta for any length of time, Place it in the docking station. The docking station will automatically run a cal check, automatically charge the battery in the analyzer, and automatically charge the backup battery. As long as the analyzer is powered on, the docking station will recognize it. The status of both batteries will be displayed on the analyzer screen, and a cal check will be performed automatically. 
This concludes your introduction to the Olympus Delta XRF Analyzer. For more information, contact your local representative or visit us online at www.olympus-ims.com.